Ah! I messed up. I forgot to switch the doubles. I stayed singles too long. We have a rudiment workout today. This is mainly for the pad, but, but there's no pad here, so we're going to do it on the snare. You can do it on the snare if you want. I would say if you practice on your pad, also practice on your snare because it's a different surface. and You want to get used to the bounce that's on here and be able to control that bounce when you're playing. Uh, like most workouts, we have a timer, and Damani's going to be doing the stopwatch, sir. But because this is a rudiment workout, it's not a full kit. Instead of going for one minute at, eight, at each BPM, we're gonna go for 30 seconds at each BPM. We're gonna start at 60, and we're gonna jump up by 20s, not by 10s, we're gonna be moving. 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. We're gonna cap out at 180, and the workout is very simple. All notes will be played as 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And what we're going to do is we're going to alternate between three rudiments, singles, doubles, and paradiddles, but the way it's going to go. Singles first, then doubles, back to singles, then paradiddles, and then back, and then it starts over. Back to singles, doubles, singles, paradiddles, singles, doubles, singles, paradiddles. And they're all played as 16th notes, like I said. We're going to play each rudiment for two measures. So we're going to do singles for one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Then we switch to doubles. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Go back to the singles for two measures. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then go to paradiddles for the next two measures. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Remember, all last sixteenth notes. All right, let's not waste no time. D, you got the timer ready? Sure. 30 seconds each one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. Okay, let's jump up to 80 BPM. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. All right, 100 BPM. Moving on. Three, four, Let's get it. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Drummers who are looking to improve your chops, your drum fills, your overall creative flow. We both know that social media like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube are some of the worst places to learn online. I mean, yeah, the information's free, but you're still left alone to figure out what to do with all that information. But I mean, hey, there are a ton of videos and they are super entertaining. I mean, so much so that they distract you from the fact that you're not actually improving as a drummer. So obviously the question is, how are we different? Well, here it is in four simple steps. So number one is clarity, which means we assign you a dedicated drum coach who's going to start you with a skill assessment so that we 
we can get clear on what's holding you back from playing with the freedom that you want. And number two, from there, we diagnose the constraints in your technique, and then we assign you a practice routine that takes you from where you are to your desired outcome. And this is where our concept stacking method comes in to help you overcome hurdles in your technique, but while building your drum fill and your chop vocabulary at the same time. And then number three, we show you how to apply what you're learning to the music you play. Cause I mean, what good is learning any of these chops or any of this stuff if you can't apply it to the music you play? But we don't stop there. We also show you how to experiment with every concept that you master. That way you don't leave our club as a copycat of us, but you'll actually find your own voice and have your own sound. And number four, which is probably the biggest difference maker is that we hold you accountable and support you for 52 weeks straight. That means you'll always know what to practice and you'll be required to show proof that you're actually practicing. And your coach is gonna give you feedback every week, face to face on Zoom so that you're crystal clear on what you need to do to have another successful week of practice. That's what makes us different and that's why our club members get the results that they do. Don't believe me? Good, you shouldn't. The good news is that you don't have to take my word for it. If you click the link, you'll be taken to a page where you'll see a bunch of videos of our past and current club members telling you exactly their experience in our club. And I get it, even with me being super direct in this video, you may still feel like what I'm saying is too good to be true and it's probably a scam. But we've been teaching online since 2012 on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, our own websites. We've also been featured in Modern Drummer as guest clinicians and instructors. So we're not some fly-by-night scheme that hasn't been here for a while. So with that said, I'd love to invite you to a free Shed Camp Club demo for two reasons. One, to show you what's happening on the back end so you can see what everyone else is doing. And two, to dive deep into your unique goals, your challenges, and kind of see if we can help. And if it makes sense, we'll talk about the Shed Camp Club. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna be the first one to tell you. However, if you're ready to commit to real results, then click the link, book a free demo, and we'll get clarity on whether or not what we have is the absolute perfect fit for your unique situation. All right, we'll talk soon. Okay, 120. One, two. I don't know if you guys heard it. I made that one mistake. I didn't, I didn't hit the rim shot. I slightly missed it. I slightly missed it, but you still keep going. All right, let's get it. 120 BPM. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, 140, 140, 140. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's go. One, two, three, four. 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 One six zero one sixty. Let's get it. One two three four. 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 All right, final one. One eighty. Last tempo, thirty seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Ah! 
I messed up. I forgot to switch the doubles. I stayed singles too long. But like with any workout that I teach, when you're practicing these things on your own, keep going. It's about the, the repetition and doing it for long periods of time. Also, it's teaching you how to recover on the fly. Because when you're playing a show with a band, if you make a mistake on the third song, you can't stop and start over. Like the show must go on. Also, I only did 30 seconds. <clears throat> you don't have to just do 30. You can go longer. You could do a minute. You could do two minutes. You can do 12 minutes. But when I do my workouts, and particularly rudiments where I'm just sitting on one surface, I don't go as long as a full kit workout because there's really no rest. I mean, the rest is pretty much the double strokes. That's where you get to kind of rest a little bit, but you're still getting some work in. So when I'm using hands like that where it's a constant pulse, I don't go as long because then that becomes redundant. So most of my rudiment workouts, most of my hand workouts where it's just on one surface, it'll be 30 seconds per BPM. Now I jumped up by 20 because that was comfortable for me. If that's not comfortable for you, you don't have to jump up by 20 if you're gonna apply this to your practice routine. And notice, because I'm only doing 30 seconds, it's not gonna be as long. So if you did five BPMs at 30 seconds, that's only two and a half minutes. You could do that first, then do other workouts, and then get into playing the music or even learning a lesson. So <clears throat> with that being said, you don't have to jump up by 20 like I did. You could jump up by 10, or you could jump up by five, or you could jump up by two, okay? Now that's the minimum. I'm not doing the whole jump up by once. 60 to 61, nah, you're not gonna feel the difference. 60 to 62, Okay, you might you might feel a little something, but 60 to 65 is preferred, okay? Jump up by at least five, that's preferred. Lowest you could jump up by is two, but I prefer you guys to jump up by five, and you don't have to just do five BPMs. You can go up as high as you think you can make it to. Maybe you can only get up to 115, so start from 60 and work your way up. It'll take you longer if you go by five, though. Just letting you know. All right, that's it for today's workout, and that's it for today's lesson.